Hello, uh, we're looking at a high power microscopic view of a slide and this is taken from the heart. So what we're looking at here are parallel bundles of cardiac muscle. Now just to revise your histology, this is striated muscle and the reason why this is not skeletal muscle is that you can see nuclei in the center of the cells. Whereas in skeletal muscle, it's also striated but the nuclei are peripheral. Now I want you to make a comparison with a second slide. On the right we see a different um, slide and this is actually both taken at exactly the same magnification. So if you look at this slide we can actually appreciate that a very obvious difference is that the cells are much larger here and in fact not only is the whole cell bigger, the nucleus is also bigger, uh, but the NC ratio is still relatively well preserved. So the larger cell size uh, reflects an increase in synthesis of the structural components of cells. This is often a cellular response to increased work demand. Uh, for example, in this case, if this occurs in the left ventricle, which is uh, the most common site, it could be due to increased workload from, say, pressure overload in a patient with hypertension or maybe in a patient with aortic valve stenosis where the left ventricle has to pump against increased resistance. So this type of cellular adaptation is called hypertrophy and as a result of this you can imagine that the tissues grossly will also appear larger and if you look at the left ventricle this will appear much thicker. This is just a very quick look at this abnormal hypertrophied left ventricle. Um, we can see that the hypertrophy is usually concentric, meaning the whole thing is more or less uh, equally thickened. And the normal wall, if you remember, uh, thickness of the left ventricle is between 1.3 to 1.5 cm thereabouts. And you can see here that this is definitely thicker than that. So you can actually um, explain this if you understand that the actual cardiomyocytes are larger and this therefore gives rise to the enlargement of the chamber and thickening of the wall and up to a certain point where uh, the cells are unable to meet the metabolic demands and then there will be decompensation and uh, failure of function of the ventricle.